The Kenya Human Rights Commission recommends Farmers' organizations that include outgrower institutions, unions, cooperative societies should be restructured, reorganized to operate in line with the Act for better representation of farmers to ensure farmers' joint bargaining power. The government should, with immediate effect, privatize government-owned mills to inject the much-needed capital and technology for diversification to effectively compete with the Comesa. It should also put in strategies to ensure farmers own shares in the process and the percentage allocated to farmers is reserved for them and changes hands only amongst farmers even after privatization. To ensure equitable benefits sharing, cane weighbridges should be independently managed away from the factory to avoid conflict of interest and the pricing formula should be based on sucrose content while appreciating the value of the cane byproducts. For the industry to attain its stability and anticipated growth, the Kenya Sugar Board should be restructured to function as an independent regulator. The government to regulate the prices as well as interest rates on inputs and services supplied to farmers like fertilizers, land preparation costs among others. To be effective and relevant, the dispute resolution process should be decentralized to the sugar belt and the sugar arbitration tribunal judges be vetted and appointed by the Judicial Service Commission, which may be non-partisan in the industry instead of the minister, who is an interested party. Farmers should prioritize profitability by engaging in farming as a business, considering yield per hectare. Furthermore, farmers' institutions should interrogate the productivity of small-scale sugarcane farming versus large-scale farming, or whether small-scale farmers would benefit from farming other crops like passion fruits, watermelons, as the farmer ends up with very little in terms of profits. The Land Control Board should intervene in land sale, subdivision and leasing to ensure there is no exclusion of women and children in such transactions. When all is said and done, what is the way forward for the farmers? The Kenya Human Rights Commission has been the Act Sugar Amendment Tuliungana ne na civil society organization within the country. Na tukachangia pakupa katika kuleta iyo chapter 4. Ambaye na zingatia mambo ya that bill of rights, that chapter 4. Ambaye tuna zingatia, whoever mwenye anavunja iyo, tunaona ata si mambo ya kuenda nini? Kwa kwa barabara, iyo ni mambo ya kuenda nini? Kotini. Katipa mpia, ndiyo tetesi, halisi, ya ule mutu ambaye ni mnyonge. Na hiyo katipa tutendele kuelemisha ili hata wale wanyonge wapata kujua itawasaidia na mnagani na wadaielewa kindani kabisa. Possibly the head output would be to have the different groups you work with. If they can be able to form now regional, regional networks that will be able to speak with one voice in terms of their regional issue, which is, whether it's issue of sugarcane because it's quite regional, it affects communities basically within the whole of that region if they'll be able to come together and speak, that's where we are heading to. For Kenya to stand and be counted as a successful agricultural nation, the parasitic culture that has permeated the sugar industry leading to the abuse of farmers' rights must be stopped. This will only be done when the farmer is considered as king in the industry.